Oh yeah, the fertilizing's been shut down because of the uh, rain. We got the moco in here, or the cutter. We got to change the shaft on it. The tire's back on the uh, Valeris. And then this gem, I need to put a new belt on. It's a B140. The old belt's cut and tore and ripped on the one corner. Can't see it now, but trust me, it is. And it goes on here. And to get the belt changed, we got to pull this whole shaft out of here, at least a couple inches to sneak the belt by. So this has been a feat. We got the chute on blocks because it's undone at the back. This is obviously loose off that taper bushing. The feeder chain is broke at the master. The drive chain's broke at the master. The bearings are all undone. The collars are all undone. We can't get the shaft to move. There's a set of bevel gears in here. We're hoping there's a hole through there. We're hoping to get the power pack in here, port of power, whatever they're called, inner pack. I don't know, there's so many different names for them. Looks like a grease gun with a hose and you pump the handle and there are little hydraulic cylinders and stuff you can move back and forth. We're hoping to press the shaft that way, have the gear come off. There's a key in here, but you can't access it. Same as this one here, there's a little keyway there. So anyways, that's been a feet and a half. That's about four hours because it's all rusted and there's a can of chain loop, half a can of WD-40, tremendous amount of force, uh, one of the collars, I think it's that collar there probably was at least an hour, hour and a half. It was seized on that bearing on the eccentric. Those eccentric collars are... Uh, I don't know. I don't really care for them. I know what they do. They lock up the shaft and the bearing so that uh, you can put a, a loose fit bearing on a shaft and then you lock it to the shaft with the collar. But man alive, it's a miserable job. Oh, and we have the first table just tied back to the rack just to get in there. So, yeah, anyways, miserable job. At the end of the day, that belt comes over, drives this, drives this and drives the chain that picks up the bale from the chute. So anyways, that's a bit of an update.